What if I told you that carpets originally were not used on the floor at all, but instead as tents providing shelter, wall coverings providing privacy, and items like blankets and saddles? Welcome to Makers Unveiled, and join us as we weave through the production of carpets, a process that's as rich and complex as its history. Have you ever looked closely at a carpet and wondered about the stories woven into its fibers? The intricate patterns might seem like a secret map, and the textures could feel like a journey through tiny worlds. Well, deep within these fibers, each carpet does have its own story, from the Bedouins of Arabia, Persia, and Anatolia, to a gift exchange between the Swedish King Charles XI and Persia. For Muslims, carpets are held in special esteem and admired for being part of paradise. Inspired by this, they developed both the design and weaving technique, and so their carpets came in wonderful colors. As well as being colorful, Muslim carpets were renowned for their quality and rich geometric patterns of stars, octagons, triangles, and rosettes all arranged around a large central medallion. The earliest English contact with Muslim carpets was when the grandson of William the Conqueror, who lived in the Abbey of Cluny, gave a carpet to the church in the 12th century. In Europe, carpets caught on quickly and became status symbols. Paintings made in the late medieval period show us how and where carpets were used and what people thought of them. King Henry VIII is known to have owned over 400 Muslim carpets, and a portrait made of him in 1537 shows him standing on a Turkish carpet with its Ushak star. Besides the Ottoman Turkish carpet, no other carpet reached such a status. So much so, it became a state of enterprise in the Safavids' reign, allowing trade relations with Europe to prosper. Persian craftsmen from Tabriz, Kashan, Isfahan, and Kerman produced eye-dazzling and mesmerizing designs, clearly knotted ranging from medallion-centered carpets, mirab carpets, and vase carpets to personalized carpets, bearing the coat of arms of a number of European rulers. But by the early 19th century, the carpet industry started to decline, partly due to historical events and conflicts, which lost Persia its stability and security, and because Europeans began manufacturing their own in the 18th century. With modern, sophisticated manufacturing materials, carpets have become one of the cheapest available flooring methods in houses, apartments, and offices. The comfort and warmth they offer has increased their popularity, making them the most sought-after flooring system. Our process starts with the threads. They are carefully loaded onto creels, preparing them for the journey ahead. The threads are then fed into the warping machine. These will be combined into a single, thicker piece of yarn, which will be used for weaving. Here, a special liquid is applied to strengthen them, ensuring durability for the final product. In the weaving phase, base colors are threaded horizontally, while bespoke colors are introduced vertically. This creates the intricate patterns that define each carpet. As it is produced, an integrated cutting mechanism trims the carpet to the correct size, maintaining clean edges. The heddle system is essential for guiding the threads during weaving. It ensures that each thread is correctly positioned for the pattern. After weaving, the carpets are collected Each piece undergoes quality control to ensure it meets the highest of standards. The carpets are then batched together, typically in groups of 10. They are pressed in a machine that also applies a protective coating.
The carpets are rolled up, making them easier to handle and transport to the next phase of production. Once unfurled, these batches are separated into their individual pieces where a skilled worker meticulously cuts the border for each piece. Each carpet is finished by binding the edges and adding labels. This provides important product information and ensures a polished look. Did you know the most expensive carpet ever sold is the Clark Sickle Leaf Carpet, which fetched an astonishing $33.76 million at a Sotheby's auction in New York in 2013. This 17th century Persian masterpiece is renowned for its sickle leaf design and intricate floral patterns set against a vibrant red background. The carpets are then packaged, securing them for delivery. The carpet's journey concludes with its arrival at a home, ready to add comfort and style to any room.